Recently, I wrote a blog post on DevOps for Power BI, what it is, what benefits we can expect for our development and deployment processes, and which tools are available to support DevOps. If that's interesting for you, you can find the link to that post in the comment section below. Today I will talk about one of those benefits and tools, version control with OneDrive or SharePoint and to what extent those tools support that aspect of DevOps. So let's take a look how this works. Uh, we can assume that this is our Power BI report, the initial version of our report, and that we have a SharePoint site where we already uploaded a version of this report as a PBIX file. And as we can see in the version history, this is the initial version that we have just seen a few seconds ago. And we are now able to switch to Power BI, to the Power BI service, and go to Get Data, and get data from files and from a SharePoint team site. We simply have to input the URL to our SharePoint site there, hit Connect, and then browse the folder to the location where the Power BI, the, the PBI X file resides, and just hit connect to connect our PBI X file, which was uploaded to SharePoint to our Power BI service. And as we can see, this is exactly the initial version that we uploaded uh, to SharePoint. And this version now is synchronized with our Power BI service workspaces. Uh, what we can do now is we can simply go back to our report and we can do some changes or make some changes. So this is the second version of our report after we did our changes. And we can save our changes and go back to SharePoint and upload this new version to, to SharePoint. But before we do that, uh, you have to switch to the classic SharePoint layout. Um, this is due to the fact that we would like to add a version comment when we are uploading the new version. And unfortunately, this is currently only possible when you use the, the legacy layout of SharePoint. So we have to switch to that layout. We can then simply hit upload, browse to our PBIX file and select it. And we can set a comment. This is the second version of our file. And we can hit OK. And when we switch back to the current layout of uh, SharePoint, we can see in the version history that we now have at least yeah, two uploaded versions. The current one, which is the second version we uploaded a couple of seconds ago, and uh, the history, uh, which also contains the initial version that we yeah, had uh, at the beginning. So after uploading the second version of our Power BI report, we simply have to wait a couple of minutes to have this report version synchronized or deployed automatically to our Power BI workspace. After waiting this, uh, after waiting this short period of time, <coughs> we can see that the second version, our latest or current version of the report, uh, was automatically synchronized to the workspace. So let's assume that we now encounter some kind of error in our report and we would like to roll back to a prior version of that report. So what we can do here is we simply can go to SharePoint and we can open the version history. And as we can see, there are still the two versions of our report available. And as we can see here in the drop down, we are able to restore an, an older version, which we will do by clicking Restore. 
and hitting OK. And now there is a third version of this report, which is the restored initial version. So after providing our rollback to the initial version, we once again have to wait a couple of minutes. And after a short period, we can simply go to Power BI again. And as we can see, now our initial, initial version is back in production in our workspace again. As we've seen, OneDrive and SharePoint are capable of supporting version control and automatic deployments to the Power BI service. Although this is a nice and easy to use feature, it falls short regarding other aspects of DevOps such as branching, continuous integration, support for dev test and prod environments or some aspects of automation which I mentioned in my original blog post. These features are only available in combination with some of the other tools I named in that post, but that will be the, that will be the topic of uh, future posts and videos. So, till then, stay healthy, stay safe and goodbye from Hamburg.